Hey guys, Sidiso here. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to briefly talk about two things. One, quantum physics. Two, spirituality. These are the things that exist beyond the five senses. These are the things that exist beyond the sin realm. However, I'm going to try my utmost best to explain them to you using one of the senses, which is speaking. So already right there, the playing fields are not leveled. So you are bound to misunderstand. You are bound to miss some of the things that I'm going to try to explain to you. However, it's not your fault. Because the only way that you can be able to understand spirituality for that matter is through personal experience. It's through personal encounter. Not me telling you, not anybody telling you, but you yourself walking the journey. That is the difference. Now, I'll tell you how this topic came about. Last week I did a video about racism. It's being promoted by polarity. Go check it out. I think it was on a Monday when I uploaded it. Racism, it's been promoted by polarity. What do I mean? This is what polarity means. For the right, there's a left. For the up, there's a down. If you have a coin, there's apparently the heads and the tails. This is what I'm saying. Polarity, it's a very same thing that says us versus them. It's a, very same, it's a very same thing that says black and white. Now, there the problem starts. These are the things that can be proven. Because you're probably saying, Sidi, so what do you mean those things don't exist? This is what I'm saying. These are the things that can be able to be proven. These are the things that can be able to be disproved. Which is what science is. Because science, it's an art of proving and disproving. However, someone realized that there is more to life than what you can see, taste, feel, touch, and smell. It was precisely 300 to 400 years ago when a split was made from the normal signs and metaphysics was born. What is metaphysics? Metaphysics, it's a science of studying things that are not seen. It's a science of studying things that are beyond the five senses. Because you and me, we know that this, it's not only it for us. There is something bigger. There is something that is greater. There is something that is giving us the very same air that we breathe. That's how metaphysics came about. So what I was arguing, which I'm still doing this week, is spirituality and metaphysics are one and the same thing. Metaphysics, which is dealing with the things that are not seen, is exactly or can be viewed in the same context as spirituality because it's dealing with things that are not seen but happen to drive the things that are seen if you get what is it that i mean so for you to be able to breathe for your heart to be able to beat for me to be able to salivate for me to be able to speak to listen to see to hear there is something that is busy tuning up the system beyond my five senses so the fact that you don't know about it does not make it non-existent. So this is what I was arguing. The approach that we've previously and still continue to take when it comes particularly to racism, it is only based on the five senses, the speaking, the understanding, and all these other things. And clearly, clearly, we are not making progress. In actual fact, we are moving towards nowhere very fast. Because as is right now, case in point, there are still racism riots that are going on. So we need to understand something. That we are all one. 
Let me say it again. We need to understand something, that we are all one. We just happen to be caught in different forms. So the narration of saying there's black and there's white, it stems from polarity and it promotes racism. Quantum physics, this is what it asserts, or this is what it contextualizes. If you break everything that we made of, that is me, the couch, the curtain, the phone, the dog, if you break everything down to the sub-atomical level, that is to the vibrational level, that is to the wave level, that you cannot even be able to see with a microscope, we are all one. We are nothing but waves that are vibrating. We are nothing but things that are not seen, but these things that are not seen make you and me. So we need to understand that if we were to change the current state of affairs when it comes to racism, we have to deploy or develop a different approach. Deepak Chopra once said, you can't solve the problem with the same level of thinking that created the problem. You can't solve the problem with the same level of thinking that created the problem. So we have to move higher. We have to dig in deeper. We have to move beyond the three dimensions. We have to dig in deeper because beyond the third dimension, there is a fourth, fifth, sixth, and most definitely infinite dimensions. But we don't want to approach or we don't want to take that route because we've been taught to believe things that exist or can be able to be indulged by five senses. But this is what I'm arguing. That approach is very limited. Because can you see love? Can you see the air that you breathe? You can't. But you are enjoying that. You can breathe right now. Your lungs are functional by the very same thing that you apparently cannot see. Some of you guys are in love right now with your partner, with your dog, with your job, with a video, with every single thing. Hope you are. You love the feeling, but you can't see it. Does it make it any less significant? It doesn't. So it's high time that we respect the things that we cannot be able to see. That is how metaphysics came about because somebody said, no, 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 no. This cannot only be it. There's something deeper than this. That is what actually quantum physics talks about to say, oh, things exist beyond what we can be able to see. We are waves, we are vibrations, meaning frequency. It's a filter that we're playing in. That is why sometimes, I'll give you an example. You meet somebody for the first time and you're like, no, nah, something does not gel with this person. What is that? Clearly, it's the first time you see this person. But why do you feel a bit type of way about him? It's because the language that we all speak, it's the same. The feelings that we all experience are all the same. We just happen to interpret them a little bit differently. But that does not make the things that we can't see less irrelevant. They are very relevant. Your heart is beating because of the very same thing that you can't see. Your blood is flowing from your feet to your head within one minute, millions and millions amount of times. You are processing not less than 70,000 thoughts per day. You have 100 billion neurons that are jumping all around in your head without your control. It's mainly because of the things that we can't see, but because we've been taught differently, we are taking them for granted. It's time right now that we consider studying things beyond what we can be able to see. Because we're sitting at this current situation because of the approach that we've taken, of only focusing on an outside. It's high time now that we go deep inside. It's not an easy exercise, 
but it's worth the time. In order to experience the new you, you somehow gonna have to let go of the old you. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you have, thank you very much. See you guys on the flip side. Shop, shop.